Hello and welcome to the update video for Venue Synthesis version 1.3. In this video, we'll break down the latest tools and enhancements this exciting update has to offer. Each source's coverage pattern can now be visualized directly in the Venue workspace. With the mapping engine enabled, choose Coverage from the mapping menu at the bottom of the screen. Each unmuted source displays a coverage plot aligned to the listening geometry it impacts. The edges of the coverage plot reflect the 6 dB downpoint of each source. For line arrays, the vertical coverage shown reflects the combined splay angles of all elements. Coverage plots highlight when the associated array is selected and are color matched to their system group. You can change the color of the coverage plot by adjusting the system group color, which is now done by right-clicking on the group name from the system group bar. Coverage plots are especially useful for aligning multiple arrays or fills and help users get a quick look at the venue geometry that is within the coverage pattern of a source. After calculating direct SPL, the headroom indicators located at the array level in the groups panel and the circuit level under the cabinets dropdown will illuminate yellow when a circuit is in limit. Mousing over the headroom indicator now provides additional detail regardless of an active limit state. Each band pass displays its own headroom value. Positive numbers indicate remaining headroom before limit and negative values indicate how into limit that band pass already is. DSP settings like gain and LACP controls are taken into consideration when calculating this headroom for each band pass. The 3D gizmo at the bottom right of the venue workspace has been replaced with a new, easier to understand 3D cube. As the venue is rotated, the sides of the cube track to help operators stay oriented in the 3D model space. The colored XYZ lines always point in the positive direction, which serves as a helpful reminder of which way to draw. Mousing over the cube allows users to select and orient the camera to numerous standard 3D views as well as the isometric views that are often used for the tape measure tool. As a reminder, the tape measure tool can be activated from the T shortcut, or the tool's dropdown, above the workspace. With the tape measure tool active, geometry snapping and crosshairs have been added to make selecting points in a measurement much easier. Geometry snapping works in venue mode, on planes, acoustic mode, on planes and arrays, and mechanics mode on arrays. Additionally, in mechanics mode, hovering the mouse over an array now displays a flyout with the exact coordinates of that point on the source, making it easier than ever to verify positioning during rigging and deployment. A new group horizontal rotation control has replaced the original X or Y axis direction selection in the layout dropdown of the properties toolbar. With this parameter, Operators can shift the directionality of an entire system group at once while preserving the source order in the group and any individual source aiming. This new tool can be especially helpful when positioning surround channels in a room. Starting with one wall, a system group can be duplicated. Then the group can be rotated 90 degrees for the next wall and moved into the appropriate position. For subwoofer system groups, a new edge-to-edge -edge spacing method can now be selected in the layout dropdown of the properties panel. To use edge-to-edge -edge spacing, the layout method must first be set to auto. With edge-to-edge -edge selected, the spacing value entered will move the subwoofers with respect to the edge of the physical cabinet, rather than the center of the cabinet as was previously the only possibility. Both the edge-to-edge -edge and center-to-center -center spacing values are visible for the selected subwoofer array from the Mechanics tab. Within the Group Export menu, the Ease Export capability has been upgraded to include Ease XLD files as well as the previously supported XGLC files. Within the Ease ecosystem, an XLD file defines each speaker as it relates to the overall venue, including data like position or delay, whereas the XGLC file defines each loudspeaker object, which includes number of elements and splay angles. The two files are designed to complement each other when transferring a complete system from venue synthesis to ease for additional analysis.
In Venue Mode, the 3D Import Export Engine has been rewritten from scratch to allow additional 3D file types to be imported and to improve the engine's ability to handle complex DXF files with high polygon counts. In addition to the DXF, GCF, CAD, and XFC formats previously supported, DWG and 3D PDF can now be imported, and loudspeakers can be exported in DWG format. Complex DXF files that previously failed to import into Venue Synthesis should now load without error. Tag geometry can now be isolated. Select the Isolate icon next to any tag in the panel, and the visibility of all other tags in the venue will be disabled, leaving only planes belonging to the isolated tag visible. This can be especially helpful when doing detailed work to a complex venue, and you need to remove elements that are blocking visibility, or as a way to quickly visualize plane membership for any tag group. The lasso tool, which was introduced in version 1.2, has been updated to include a rectangular selection box. The rectangular lasso tool works in a similar fashion to the freeform lasso. Dragging from left to right draws a blue box and selects only items that are completely encased by that selection. Dragging from right to left draws an orange box, which selects any plane that the box touches, regardless of whether the planes are completely encased in the selection. Shift plus the L key will swap between the two selection tools. With no selection tool active, hitting the L key shortcut will activate the last used selection tool. Last but not least, in previous versions of Venue Synthesis, the application would show errors for any imported geometry that was non-coplanar. While some 3D modeling tools allow these types of planes to be exported, Venue Synthesis requires flat planes. With this latest import engine, non-coplanar planes are automatically split and triangulated. Planes can also be manually corrected by right-clicking and selecting Fix and Valid Plane. Download Venue Synthesis version 1.3 today to take advantage of all these great new features and more. From all of us here at JBL, thank you for watching and happy designing.